data sovereignty, digital transformation, and digital decade. All these topics were discussed at the Data Sovereignty webinar hosted by the European Commission. The webinar revolved around two sessions. The first focused on the definition of data sovereignty, featuring MEP Mia Petra Kumpula Natri and the director at DigiConnect, Ivo Volman. During the second session, four panelists discussed the importance of data sovereignty, its role in the digital transformation, as well as ways forward. The definition of the concept data sovereignty was approached by different angles. For some, it firstly means the protection and empowerment of citizens. For others, it has more to do with a capacity to be ahead in a very competitive environment. This contrast was also apparent among participants. When replying to uh, some Slido questions, 43% answered that for them, data sovereignty corresponds to trust, while 39% to empowerment, and 17% to innovation. The panelists also exposed their views on how to make the data sector evolve. They mentioned, among other points, the importance of EU regulation for establishing a common framework, as well as the need for structural preparedness and an openness to change. More generally, they suggested for the EU to offer increasing funding opportunities to involve more EU companies and fill the gaps in the data market and in the digital more generally. Panelists also highlighted the need for all stakeholders to be involved. However, finding the necessary tools for the public, private sectors and the citizens to collaborate seems to represent the biggest challenge. In this sense, the Digital Decade Policy Programme 2030 could help as a process as it allows to share common objectives and ensure a coherent approach. For instance, the Annual State of the Digital Decade Report could represent an adequate tool for the overall advancement in the field. As a matter of fact, the first one should be adopted in June 2023. On the legislative side, certain difficulties were also identified, such as that of finding clarity in regulation, on data, and for actors to apply them properly and timely. Panelists described the process as slow and energy consuming in terms of compliance efforts. To conclude, this discussion was a very good example of how to foster dialogue between those who produce regulations and those who are implementing them, in particular when these regulations are seeking to meet societal demands for integrating values such as more human-centered digital environment. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to join the Futurium platform. Thank you.